In this video, I will be reviewing Opus Clip, an AI-powered video editing tool that can repurpose your clips with just one click. As a short form content agency owner, I've been working in this space for a while now and I know about Opus Clip for a few months, but until then I didn't think it was quite good enough to compare with the real world. Well, today I'm gonna compare real life results with Opus Clip and see if you can fire your editor or if you still have to do it manually. If we scroll down on the website, you can see that it has multiple features. Let me break them down for you. So the first feature that we have is the AI creation tool. This tool identifies the best bits of your video and combines them into one video of your choice. So if you come up the website Opus Pro, you can check the link in my description down below. Then you have to drop a YouTube video or you can upload your own file. What I'm gonna do right now is gonna go to YouTube and I'm gonna search for a video of the man who started all of this, which is Alex Hermosi. So let's take this interview of Hermosi. You copy the link right there, you go back to Opus Clip and you drop in your video. Now the great thing that they've recently added is the credit saver. If you want to shorten your video, for example, if you know that you have a two minute video intro, which wouldn't be used for clips, then you can just shorten the time frame, and now you can save some credits on that part. But for this clip, I'm just gonna leave it as is, and now you can select the preferred clip length. In my experience, the best clips are less than 30 seconds or between 30 and 60 seconds. Anything longer than that, it might lower the average view duration, which will be bad for your algorithm. So I'm just gonna go with less than 30 seconds and 30 to 60 seconds. Now, if you have any keywords or if you want to filter out any specific part of your video, you can enter the keywords right there. And what this will do, it will search those words through the transcript and then it will create videos about that part. So for this example video, I have no idea what's in the video, so I'm not gonna use any keywords. Now let's create our clips with just one click. So as you can see, it's currently generating our clips. The estimated waiting time is 12 minutes, which is decently fast. It's at least faster than your editor can do it, but let's see what the result will be. In the meantime, I have another video that I've already put through Opus Clip, which I want to show you. So this is just one of the video that it has created with AI. Um, you can see on here the score 84, which means the virality score. If I explain to you, it's basically like a score of how likely it is to go viral. Um, in my experience, it can always be different within the real algorithm, so I wouldn't trust it that much. But it's fun to see if you compare like the number one video compared to like the last number of video, then there is a real difference within the quality of the content itself. Then the text right here explains why it has a score of 84. It explains that it has an attention grabbing hook, it has a clear focus, and in the bottom right here, it shows you the transcript of that video. Now, the downside on Opus Clip is it doesn't have a lot of creativity. Let me show you what I mean by that. So I'm telling you, you can get out of this fast. You can switch those four hours of you learning the basics of that skill to spending the rest of your time being the most amazing applicant to new jobs that exist in the world. I didn't say... So what I mean by it's very basic and not creative is these are the standard Hormozy captions. These are the ones everyone has. These are the ones that are really easy to use. And these are the ones that are currently dying within the space of short form content editing. Um, what I'm seeing right now is that there is a much higher demand for more creative videos. And in the previous past, people have tried to sell like even these Opus Clip generated videos for like 20 bucks a piece. Uh, which in my eyes is ridiculous given how fast it is created. But if you still manage to find a client that is willing to pay that amount for those edited videos, then it is a great tool to use. So let me give you another example of a video that I've previously put in into Opus Clip. This one has a score of 99. It thinks it is very good and it has high chance of going viral. It's also because the video that I've put in is very professionally curated. It really depends on what type of video you put into Opus Clip to get good results. So in the editor, you will see the transcript of your video. You will see the words that are highlighted. Those are marked yellow. Um, if you want to change the emoji, you can simply click on it and you can click on the emoji part and you can change it to any emoji that you'd like. Once again, it's very basic, but it does the job if you're just looking for simple subtitles. If you think the AI has made a mistake, like a spelling error or something like that, you can also change it if you double click on the word and now it lets you type in there. What recently has been added to this platform, which I think is a massive improvement, is that you can now reframe the image. So for example, you can drag it over a little bit to the left or the right. You can even make the clip smaller or larger if you'd like to. So for example, you can put it right there, or you can also make it bigger 
and put it more in the frame. This has become available recently. They've also added a feature that's called auto tracking. So for example, if you're walking on the stage, it will now follow you in the frame. So it's trying to keep you in the frame every time. So by going to the brand right here, we can change the styling of these captions. You can change the auto caption to three lines per page or one line. If someone is speaking really fast, then I will put it on three lines. And if someone is speaking pretty slow, then I will put it on one line because that looks better. Then you can also change the position of the captions. You can change to the top, to the middle or the bottom, but it does a really good job with the auto placement that it is on right now. So if you want to add your own logo or your call to action, then you can upload it right here. It will give you an option to put it like in the bottom or anywhere you want on the screen. So if you want to stand out from the crowd that's using the Hormozy style captions, then you have to change the font. The most common used font I see is the Montserrat font, which is on right now. You can change it to anything you'd like. Unfortunately, there's not a feature that you can add your own font, which I would love to see in the future. But for now, we just have to try around with these fonts. For example, let's try this Anton font. Now you can toggle the uppercases on or off. This is up to you, whatever your style is preferred. I will leave them on. You can change the font color. Right now it's white. You can change to any color you'd like. You can change the stroke as well. Uh, you can make it a little bit thicker as well or leave it out completely. That's also an option. You can also remove the shadow and you can change the color of the highlighter. So right now it's on green and yellow. Let's say your brand colors are blue and light blue. You can change it to that color. Once you make those changes and you like what you see, then you can click on save and compile and now it will regenerate the clip for you. So if you want to avoid editing each and every clip that you have manually, then you can go to the top right corner. You can click on brand template and you can create your own template right here. Once you've created that template, it will use that for each and every clip that you created. So is Opus Clip a worthy competitor for a good editor? Well, there are pros and cons to using Opus Clip. For example, the cons are is it doesn't really look unique. The editing, it cannot be changed a lot. You can just have the basic captions and the emojis are really overused. But in terms of like productivity, it can massively increase your output. So if you create a lot of content, for example, you have a podcast, then you can just put it through Opus Clip and in no time you will have like 30 clips. Here's an example of a video that has been made by an editor. And after that, I will show you an example which has been made by Opus Clip. Most of the time, you're not gonna be motivated to do it. Motivation is kind of like runner's high when you're running. When you're running a marathon, you're only gonna get runner's high for some of it. For a very small portion, you're gonna get that feeling where you're running on clouds and you've got this and here's the example we made with Opus Clip. Hey, maybe you're not gonna make good money for 10 years, but there will get to a point if you keep working that you make enough money that it raises normal banks' eyebrows, just normal banking eyebrows. And that's where premium banking is a step. So with Opus Clip, you can just add basic captions. You can't really add like any of those film burns. You can't add B-roll. You can't add any of that. So right now for anyone that's looking for an easy solution to add subtitles to their videos, I would definitely recommend Opus Clip. If you want to have a bit more advanced videos, then I would say work with a short film content editor that can customize things within like After Effects, Adobe Premiere. It can add like custom B-roll to that, um, but that will also cost you a bit more. Let's go to the pricing of Opus Clip to see how much it costs. So for just $19 a month, you can have up to 200 minutes of video recording time, which means like if you have a podcast that's an hour long, then you can upload three of those and after that you're out of credits. If you need more credits, then you can always upgrade to 400 minutes a month, which will set you back at $38. So if you're interested in trying out Opus Clip for yourself, click on the link in my description and you can get some free credits. And if you like this video, please leave a like and I will see you in the next one.